And to get another person's perspective, so you don't have to hear me ramble about dance, we have a very special guest joining us. Kevin Weaver, welcome to that figure skating show. So great to have you with us. You just finished uh, commentating on the, sh uh, the rhythm dance. Sorry, I always say the short dance. The rhythm dance at the Canadian National Championships. What are your thoughts on the event? Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure always to be on that figure skating show. It was so much fun to commentate for the rhythm dance event for this year's national championships. It's a high stakes event. People are going to be naming the Olympic team. And this was no disappointment. The energy was so high. Everybody, it seemed, skated their best, if not very close. Um, so it was an exciting event. And um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Three spots. It's a big year. Um it seems like uh, Marjorie and Zach are kind of the front runners for that third spot. What are your thoughts on that, uh, that bronze medal position and that third spot for the Olympics? I know, um, you know, Carol and Shane have been pushing and they're, they're kind of on their heels. What are you seeing? I think judging by the scores, definitely there's some padding there for um, Marjo and Zach. They're, I think, four points ahead of, um, fourth place. So that's, that's definitely a good lead going into the free dance. Anything can happen. You know, I think people are just going to really lay it out on, out on the line tomorrow. Um, it's a win, win, win for me. You know, all of these teams are so talented and they all have worked so hard. It's hard to pick one or the other. Um, uh, Marjo and Zach, I think had a super strong performance, but I, my sentimental favorites are Shane um, and Caro. So really hard to pick. Love to see the improvement of all of them. And, you know, they're ready to make dreams come true. So it's going to get down to the wire tomorrow. So we kind of just talked about Marjorie and Zach. Um, heading into the free, what do they need to do to make sure that they hang on to that? bronze medal position to secure that last and third spot for the Olympics? I think they have so much um, strength in their character and identity and energy. It just seems like those two things, like those three things are wrapped up as one, you know, energy and personality. They're just like so full of it. And I think that that really sets them apart and gives them a clear, um, distinction, you know, and when all of the teams are so well matched um, in terms of levels and execution, it's those types of like je ne sais quoi that that separates the teams and and um, those kids have star quality in spades. So I think if they can do what they do best and that's really go into their story, this program to Rio is so strong and so um, well trained. I think that that probably will be a good way to argue their case. And plus they're the only birds I trust. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, Caitlin. You're doing an amazing job on the commentary uh, for nationals. Can't wait to hear you over the free dance. Thank you for joining that figure skating show yet again. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Asher and Dylan from That Figure Skating Show. And if you like this video, and don't lie, we know you did, there's actually more where that came from. So subscribe to CBC Sports and click it. Click, click it real good. good. Da, na, 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 na.